Steve, you and I are checking out a game that we've had our eyes on the radar for. It is Somerville. It's finally here. And you, man, I was excited to jump into this. Jump Ship made this game and uh, the developers behind it. I Man, this is not really what I was hoping for. I'll be honest right <laughs> off the hop. This did not turn out the way I wanted it to. The art style is what hooked me. Then, then the mystery of what they revealed in the trailer kind of really set this up. But dude i've i've been about an, a day and a half out now from completing the game and i still don't know what i played like at the end of the day i'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah. so long i'm confused i'm like what just happened like what did i play for the last like five hours like i yeah. really just it's not a long game it's only about four to six hours i think i wrapped it up in about five there's just dude i got real frustrated real fast playing the, like i said the art style drew me in it starts off with it's you and your wife and your son and your dog and then from there your son kind of gets in a little bit of trouble wakes you up and then these aliens show up and it just kind of sets the weird tone for the game moving forward that part i didn't mind i'm like okay cool no. and then you gain some abilities to help you solve some puzzles but just the the mechanics of this game holy dude i almost broke my controller trying to move Me like it too. was yeah and so yeah that's my <laughs> my little highlight of a glimpse into this game so far but steve where are you at well i like you i actually finished the game i think it probably took me six hours or something along them lines sure. and i did love the first probably about the first hour yeah uh, and it's only because of the visual art style and i like this sci-fi kind of thing like you said you start i couldn't understand why you start off as a baby and <sighs> there is no narrative there is no, no text in, and it's just an A button to interact, but it doesn't tell you what you can interact with. And it, the movement was very slow paced for, because once you get past the dad bit, that uh, sorry, once you get past the baby bit after waking your dad up, yeah. then you you play more as your dad. And it's very slow paced, he's walking along, you don't know what you're supposed to interact with. And like you said, then there's an alien invasion. And I did like that bit. And that's probably the only really main sound effects you get with all the, the rocket ship exploding or just bits yeah. falling down. But after the hour is you get you. Yeah, that's the other bit I couldn't understand. An alien <laughs> lands in your basement. Who would want to go and touch the tentacle? And well, then I think I think you die. And then your wife goes off that's for refuge it. or something. And it's just left you at least the dog. Who leaves the dog? <laughs> it was so bizarre. You wake up, everybody's gone, but you have the dog, your kid, and your wife just left you. They just yeah. left you to die. I guess they thought you were dead and just bailed out. I have no idea because I really don't know at the end of the gate and end of the day where this game kind of really wrapped up because I was just lost by the end of this completely. Still trying to figure out, wrap my head around the concept of this story. But it was it's you and the dog. You sit on your adventure, you get into some of these puzzles. Dude, I got real frustrated with one particular puzzle. There is a gate, and it's got a pulley system, right? So as you pull on the pulley system, gate goes up. On the other end is a hook. Okay, you're in a bit of a mine cart yeah. situation, so you got to push the mine cart, which then... Dude, I knew, I knew right from the top what I had to do. It was simple, right? It's laid out right in front of me. All right, got the mine cart. I have this ability, then I can turn this liquid goo into, like, a frozen state. Perfect, no problem, right? So I'll just drop the hook into the cart and then I'll be able to push the cart down, which then holds my door up, which allows me to go through. Yeah. It would not drop into the cart when I dropped the the wheel. And just, I spent 15 minutes trying to get this thing to bounce in to the point where I actually restarted from the checkpoint and dude, my cart was there with the actual hook right above. And yeah. I was... You got to be kidding me. And this is like, dude, this isn't the first time throughout this game I've had this kind of trouble. I think I restarted the game three times in order yeah. to get to the, the objective I needed to. I'm like, I already know where I need to go. I know what I need to do. And it's just not, the game isn't functioning. We've gone from this 2D to a 2.5D landscape and the controls to maneuver your character are just absurd. Your dog yeah. vanishes for parts of the game and then like three quarters of the way through the game just shows back up again. I was he like, you. Yeah. What would you, <laughs> but he, <laughs> said, dude, there's no way he could have found me. Cause I'm like gone. I was not even close to being here. And it's just, I'm just, I've traveled halfway around the world, what it feels like I've gone to uh, some outer space kind of scenario. Dude, like I've just been, uh, it's all over the place. Aliens are here. I'm there. My wife shows up. She's disappeared. The dog's gone. The dog's back. I'm just like, what, what happened here? 
I, I totally understand what you're saying because, as you said, with the abilities, if you touch anything metal or electric, it amplifies it and it does yeah. a bigger area. So, because there'll be parts of like material from the alien ship that you'd have to dissolve to to make walkway throughs. Sure. But that cart one, because he moves so slow and sluggish, yeah. the yeah. time you sort of turn the crank to drop the, the handle down, you've got to quickly run before it spins back up again to get to like a power box to go to that sort of frozen state to hold ah. the hook in place. But I had a lot of issues, uh, the mechanics of this game. Like yeah. you said, it, it, they're trying to make it 3D, but it really should just be a 2D. These, uh, the developers have made games like Limbo, uh, Inside, and it's that kind of style game, which is just a 2D side scroller kind of thing. Yeah. To make the 3D, I was spent ages trying to find where I had to go to realize if I went behind this rock, there's a pathway behind it to move on to the next part. And there's, like you said, there's puzzles with levers and stuff like that. And you have to get it in the exact position to, for your character to work that mechanic. Yeah. And with no A button or anything like that, it is just, it was just messy for me. It's very messy, very cumbersome. But Steve, I think we've complained enough about this one. Unfortunately, it didn't really pan out the way we were hoping it was going to. No. It's just a lot of lacking and missing a bunch of elements that would have really kind of enhanced this game. Like smoother controls and a whole bunch of other things. And maybe some more audio in the background as well. Would have been nice. But Steve, what are you scoring this one? Do you know what? I started off good. I love the graphics. The, yeah. the art style, I did enjoy. The story at the beginning, I did enjoy, but like I said, I had uh, graphic texture issues where my character be halfway in the walls and stuff like that. A part I couldn't get through, um, it took me 30 minutes because the dog wouldn't follow you and I needed the dog to follow me into an elevator to move on. <laughs> yeah. And it just felt like a glitch. And for this, I'm, I'm giving this game a 5 out of 10. How about uh you? Uh, I'm going to go actually with a 3.5 for me. It is cumbersome to control when you don't have any dialogue in the game. You need to be able to tell the story. And for me, it didn't tell a story at all. It told a whole lot of confusion and messy puzzles and just a giant mess at the end of the day that didn't pan out the way we had all, I think, hoped for. So unfortunately, yeah, it's there with a 3.5.